When darkness falls across the town, the people start to settle down, and into bed they gently drift, unless they're on the nighttime shift. When everyone has hit the sack, and Richard's eaten his nighttime snack. More or less. When everything is tired and bleary, they spoon together snug but weary. Off they drift to a distant place, not bound by rules of time and space. A place of wonder, of sounds and sights, a place of joy, of fear, of frights. So join me now and we'll explore the dreams of those down in Elmore. <sighs> Darwin, do you sometimes get that weird feeling like you're falling when you're going to sleep? This is a dream. Nothing bad can happen. I'll simply wake up before I hit the ground. Oh, finally. Ah, oh, the land of slumber. A magic world where one can fly or breathe underwater. A place where rainbows flow like rivers and animals dance on clouds. A place with no limits. Where, oh where, shall my wondrous imagination take me this time? Hmm. I'm a bun, I'm a bun, I'm a tasty, tasty bun to be baked and kneaded. Oh, how fun, you can have me with breakfast, have me with brunch, you can have me with your dinner, you can have me with your lunch. I'm a bun, I'm a bun, I'm a tasty, tasty bun to be baked and to be kneaded. Oh, how fun! Hmm, bun. I'm a bun, I'm a bun, I'm a tasty, tasty bun to be baked and kneaded. Oh, how fun you can have me with... <laughs> no dozing on the job, Needlemeyer. Business doesn't sleep. <laughs> Not a very convenient location for a convenience store. Larry, you have wasted your life. What? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Larry, wake up! So, like I said, one grande cappuccino, but with the milk, the coffee, the foam, and the cup on the side. Wait, what? Three donuts with extra cheese and four hot dogs without the skin on them. Uh, okay. Wait a minute. This is another dream, isn't it? One where I get tortured by stupid customers with insane demands. Well, guess what, mister? This is my dream, and I can do what I want in it! <laughs>
Thank you.